You're watching NBC, America's late night leader. It's The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Featuring Kevin Eubanks and The Tonight Show band. And me, I'm Ed Hall. Tonight, Jay welcomes Bill Maher. World champion boxer Roy Jones Jr. And the music of Aaliyah. And now, Jay Leno. Sir, that is a good-looking outfit. Take a look at that, huh? There you go. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, I don't... Thank you very... I, I'm working now, but thank you, sir. You ever wonder what Santa Claus looks like in the off-season? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There. Nice to see you there, sir. Well, welcome to NBC, which, of course, stands for Nobody Believes Condent. Yeah, that's what we do here. Yeah. Well, now the Washington police say they want to have a fourth, a fourth interview with Gary Condit. You know, this is the most times Gary Condit's ever met with anyone he wasn't having sex with. You know, <laughs> unbelievable, isn't it? In fact, he's been down there so many times, he's actually getting a tan from the interrogation right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just gets more and more bizarre. Now our former U.S. congressman had come forward. He claims that Gary Condit is bisexual. That's a little... <laughs> Well, it might be true. Remember last week he was seen throwing a gift from his mistress into a dumpster? Uh -huh. This weekend he was seen at a dumpster in Virginia throwing away a gift from the pottery barn. So it could be, <laughs> there could be something to it. There could be something to it. <laughs> and what a hound this guy is. Jeez. Remember the other night, kid, we had InSync on the show? All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We had 400 girls in the audience, and he was in the audience hitting on the girl. Remember? That's right. I, I didn't realize that. until I saw it on the air that I showed the tape from the other night with the audience. Can we show? There he is. Look at him right there. There he is right there. Look. You see him? There he is right there. It's... Wow. Didn't know his head was so big. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and what else? Newsweek magazine this week claims there are 87 congressmen currently cheating on their wives. I wonder it's so hard to get a hotel room in Washington. You ever try to get a hotel room? Isn't that some 87 congressmen cheating on their wife? See, I hope this doesn't hurt Congress's image. I mean, you hate to see 87 bad apples ruin the whole barrel. You know what I mean? Just oh, yeah. 87 guys can throw oh, yeah. it off for everybody. Oh, Make yeah. it <laughs> and today, former President uh, Jimmy Carter lashed out at President Bush. You know, this doesn't happen usually. Usually, former presidents kind of keep to themselves in these things. But he attacked Bush. He said he's been disappointed in just about everything Bush has done so far as president. And today, Bush fired back. He said, hey, if this Jimmy Carter guy is so smart, how come I never heard of him? Oh. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it could go either way. And the media is reporting that the Pope was genuinely happy to meet with uh, President Bush on Monday. I think he likes him. Well, sure, you know. The Vatican is still patching the holes from the lightning bolts after Clinton's visit. Remember that thing? <laughs> Clinton was there. <laughs> Yesterday, President Bush, uh, Bush visited Kosovo. He said he couldn't believe how big it was. He said he remembers Kosovo and it was just known as the Price Club. He said, boy, I can't believe how big it's gotten, how big it's gotten. And this past weekend, President Bush and First Lady Laura Bush met with the Queen of England. Yeah, and they offered her a token from America. They gave her a gift, something the English don't have from America. Well, here, show the footage. Here's the Queen. There they are meeting the Queen. Now, you see, uh, here's the President giving the little... Press, what is that? <laughs> hey, how many have gotten their tax refund check? You gotten yours yet? Have you gotten your back? No, 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 no. It's 
star, you're from Africa, aren't you? You don't get one. You shook your head. I saw this guy before. Where are you from? Africa. You get your check? No, I got screwed. You know what I mean? Sorry, they screwed me too, brother. You didn't get... right. <laughs> they screwed me too. Oh, Sorry. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You live so bad. I could use my own money, man. Really? Yes. Really? Yes, I could. Get an extra security guard for your mansion? No. Lives in a huge castle. I do on the not. I live like in a one room thing. Oh, man. yeah. One room thing. Yeah. Really? One room. First of all, why do they even call this a refund? It's my money. It's not a refund. It's a reunion, okay? I'm being reunited with my own money. Oh, here you go. If a guy robs me and I get it back, hey, here's your refund. It's not a refund. <laughs> and a bill is now moving through Congress to ban the cloning of human beings. What do you think of this? Let me tell you, if, if this law prevents just one more boy band from being formed, I say let's go for it. Okay? And Mattel announced today, Mattel Toys coming out with a exciting new line of Patrick Ewing getting some action uh, figures. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is my favorite story. Men behaving badly. Boy, you know, guys think they're in the back room. Nobody knows. Oh, man, these guys are unbelievable. There's a big trial going on in Atlanta now at a strip club uh, called the Gold Club. Apparently, NBA players were catered to, catered to, treated like kings, given free drinks free lap dances, private VIP rooms, in some cases, complimentary sex with the dancers. Whew. Let me tell you something, this doesn't get Michael Jordan back to the NBA, nothing will, <laughs> nothing will. Oh, look what we have now, look what we have. Oh. An NBA star, Patrick Ewing, sounds more like Congressman Patrick Ewing, but <laughs> NBA star Patrick Ewing, he was the first athlete to testify at the trial. And Ewing testified that on two different occasions, dancers performed sexual acts on him. Dancers? Are they still dancers at this point, really? <laughs> <laughs> really, are they still dancers? <laughs> no, he, this is the actual thing that he said. Uh, he testified that two dancers gave him oral sex. Actually, only one gave the sex. The other was holding the ladder. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's what, holding the ladder. <laughs> he's very, he's, he's very tall. <laughs> and here's my favorite part of the testimony. You know, I love it when men get cornered. You know, this is, this is great. He said, he testified, he was brought to the VIP room where he had sex with the dancers. Then he said he stuck around for a while and talked to the girls and then left. Talk to the girls. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little old-fashioned here, but what is it you talk about after that? <clears throat> so, uh, are your folks from the area? <laughs> I noticed the Baptist church coming in. Is that yours? Is that what you... What do you say? Ewing also testified that he did not go to the club looking for sex. No, no. That's why he went ten times. He went for the chicken wings. They're delicious. You know, the little wings with the spicy sauce. Who can resist those? Oh, oh. And the buffet. All you can eat. Yeah. Went there ten times over a three-day period. I tell you... Wow, ten times in three days. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but they're very good. They're you know? very good, oh, anyway. And they're broiled, not fried, so you don't you don't get any of the fat. <laughs> anyway, I guess the owners of this club now are being charged with prostitution and money laundering. Well, let me tell you something. There's one place where the money needs laundering. It's a strip club, isn't it? Ooh, you want to know where it's been. <laughs> Here's another great story. Here in Los Angeles, they recaptured a prisoner who escaped from the L.A. jail last week. Very clever escape, this guy. Uh, he used a fake ID made with a picture of Eddie Murphy on it from the Dr. Doolittle movie. He clipped it out of the news. The guy looked vaguely like Eddie Murphy. So he clipped a picture of Eddie Murphy in the newspaper, pasted it on his ID, and escaped. In fact, his plan was to, was to escape at 1215, 235, 525, and 745. What? <laughs> Okay, it's not as good as the ladder joke, I admit that. I... What is that? You know, the movies. They have the movies at 2.15. Oh, say... oh, oh, oh. No, it's not funny. I'm just... I don't know. I... Oh, you know, I, just... I don't know. I understand man. when they don't get it, they're not being paid. <laughs> I just want to, I'm trying to be right with you, man. I'm trying to. You're trying to be right with me. Yeah, I'm right with you now. I'm with you. Go ahead. Good to see you next one. Right with me now. 
What else did I see today? New book come out uh, today. It says, the worst airport in the country for passengers experience air rage. You know, when people go nuts on a plane. You know where it is? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. That's where it happens the most. Apparently, people who've lost their life savings get a little testy when they charge $4. $4 for a headset. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know that meteor shower that lit up the sky over New Jersey last week? Turns out it was just a toxic cloud that caught fire. Yeah, that's what happened. Just, <laughs> New Jersey burst into flames going over there from... Yeah. And Beverly Hills Ford, listen to this. Beverly Hills Ford announced this week that they're opening up a special sales department to sell cars to gay customers. Kind of a gay sales staff to deal with gay customers. I know, that sounds like a nice idea, but I don't know if being sensitive to gay customers is really, in Beverly Hills is Ford's biggest problem. I think the biggest problem is getting people in Beverly Hills to be seen driving a Ford. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I mean, that, that seems a little harder to me. Yeah. Oh, boy. Have you heard about this? The latest trend now seems to be people getting married at disaster sites. You see this couple in New York that's getting married underwater on the Titanic? They're going to get married, you know, in scuba gear on, right, right. on the bow of the Titanic. That's a good idea. You know, next year, my wife and I are going to be renewing our vows at Little Bighorn. I'd like you to come out there. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to honeymoon at Three Mile Island. I think it'll be lovely. Lovely, nice. Yeah, yeah. And according to a new study called the Boston Couples Study, men who waited, men who waited to have sex in college were happier in their 40s. You know when they were really unhappy? In college. <laughs> College was hell. It was a terrible time. I always loved this idea. Men who waited to have sex. Oh, like it was their choice. You know, <laughs> you know what, guy? She's completely naked. I'm going to hold off, honey. Yeah, I've got some stuff I got to do. I'll call you. But speaking of that, here's something that was in the paper today also. Scientists report now they are working on an invisible condom. You know, what kind of nightmare is this going to be for women? <laughs> Bob, do you have any kind of protection? Sure, baby, I got my invisible condom on. <laughs> Put it on this morning before I left the house. I've <laughs> been wearing it all week, just in case. <laughs> and finally, here's the oddest story of the week. In Stockholm, Sweden, the owner of a bull terrier says her dog swallowed $94 in Swedish money. She had it on the, count on the right. tabletop. <laughs> Swallowed $94 in bills. Then she said she recovered the money the next day when she took the dog for a walk and the dog passed uh... the bill. Now I'm wondering how other people walk in their dogs. What, what did they think when they saw this? <laughs> Honey, we got to get a dog like that. <laughs> what kind of dog is that? Oh, man. Folks, we've got a great show tonight. My first guest, an old friend, he hosts the terrific show Politically Incorrect, which unfortunately is opposite us, but it's a good show. I've done it. It's a lot of fun. And we, we argue about everything. We always <laughs> argue about everything. Uh, Bill Maher. Bill Maher is here. Bill Maher is here. And the light heavyweight champion boxer. This guy can fight, can't he? I don't think he's, he's ever lost. He lost one fight. 44, I think it's 44. Yeah, but that, even that was kind of that, weird. That's that was right. a little weird. He, he, but it's in the eye. No, no, he's bad. I see, no, and we talk, we, Kevin and he's I bad. talk about this. When Holyfield was here, remember I looked him in the eye and said, Kevin's going to lose. He yeah. hasn't got it in the That's eye. True. And he lost. It was the only That's time true. he lost. That's I'll look true. in his eye. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, let, I'll he, give you a thumbs up. A thumbs well, this down. is an easy one. This is Roy Jones. <laughs> all, right, all right, do the thumbs up thing. Right, I'm sorry. Right, <laughs> when you get my signal, you all will know all right. where to put your money. All right, cool. But don't put your money down until... Get All right, I'm gonna lay. I'm gonna wait on you. <laughs> All right, Roy Jones Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Roy Jones. And a terrific young actress and performer. You know her from her Romeo Must Die. She's in the Matrix movies. Aaliyah, the lovely Aaliyah, is here tonight. Be right back with the fine prince. Say hello to Kevin Eubanks and the Tonight Show band. <laughs> Ford says their F-150 is built tough, but our engineers will tell you the GMC Sierra has more horsepower, more towing capacity, and more front headroom and rear legroom. If you want all that from an F-150, well, that is tough. 
for great offers this summer on remaining 2001 Sierras before they're all gone. Hurry to the pros at your GMC dealer today. Take me home now. She took him beyond passion. Do you believe that pleasure can ever be sinful? Beyond obsession. Who was the man? What man? Beyond control. You'll be the death of me. I hope so. But when it's too far... Say it, you love me. Not far enough. I will find her. When something has to be done, you do it. Antonio Banderas, an Academy Award winner, Angelina Jolie. I just came here to kill you. Original Sin. Rated R. Starts Friday, August 3rd. Your Chevy dealer's got something to make your pulse quicken. Choose a 2001 Chevy Impala or Monte Carlo and get $1,000 factory cash back. Hit the road in cars that love to drive and get $1,000 cash back. Or get a 2001 Chevy Malibu with 0% APR GMAC financing. Gives you an adrenaline rush just thinking about it. Get great offers on select Chevy cars at your Chevy dealer today. Introducing a complete new line of sleep systems designed and recommended by the leading orthopedic surgeons in America. Posturepedic by Sealy. This weekend, there's only one place in the U.S. where you can try all the new Posturepedics. Haynes Pure Sleep. The exclusive line of Sealy Posturepedic Advanced Generation Sleep Systems available only at Haynes. All at substantial introductory discounts with free delivery and free interest for a year. Plus, you get an extra $100 off the sale price of every Posturepedic. This weekend at Haynes Pure Sleep. What will you save from the manufacturer with more five-star safety-rated vehicles? A little bit of cruising worry-free. A little peace of mind for you and me. Cash up to $2,000 or 0-9 financing on Taurus and Windstar. 0-9 for 60 months lowers your payment by up to $143 a month on Windstar. A little bit of sunshine in your day. A little bit of fun along the way. Visit your neighborhood Ford store today during Ford's authorized clearance. Welcome back. You know, folks, I don't consider myself merely an entertainer, a rock contour, an entrepreneur. No, no, no. I'm also a consumer watchdog. And the most critical piece of advice I can give you is the small print, the small writing you see on a package, okay? You should be very careful, and you should always, always read it. It's a small print. This contains the information the companies are often reluctant to divulge. You know what I'm saying? Because you know oh, yeah, yeah. if we can prevent just one injury or death tonight... Just one. Man. Just one. Just one. <laughs> that would be great. Anyway, these companies, they're required to, to put this warning on, but they do it so small, most people don't even see it. So let's take a look at a few products and some of the tricks and treachery lurking in the fine print, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Now, a good consumer knows that before you purchase an item, you should read the entire package thoroughly, thoroughly, like this uh, Chung King uh, chow mein dinner. You've all had this. Looks pretty good, doesn't it, Kev? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Did you see the fine print? Look, this chicken's last words were, meow, meow. You see, now, that's not... That is not a good not, sign. Not a good sign. See, now, if you had seen that, you might not have purchased the product. So let's get that out of the way. Even giant corporations are not immune to us. They all do it. Take Microsoft. This is Microsoft. What is this? This is the upgrade, the office stand. Okay. I thought the fine print and their logo, very, very interesting. Ellen, go in close. See what it says? Just try breaking up our company. Go ahead. We dare you. <laughs> you, see? you see? They're mocking us. They are mocking oh, us. Yeah. They are. And that's wrong. Okay. <laughs> Because what's America's favorite way to travel? Not the private car, not the jet, certainly the bus. <laughs> the bus. And if you're planning on taking Greyhound this summer, check the fine print. Check the fine print. See what it says right there? Get in close, Ellen. Not responsible for any diseases or infections you may catch from other passengers. <laughs> if we've saved just one life, just <laughs> one. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be funny if we've done that. Here's a tub of, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. You look at it, you look at it, but do you read the fine print? See what it says? I can't believe you're reading the fine print, Maureen. It's still not butter. <laughs> we say to your face it's not butter. It doesn't taste like butter. It barely looks like butter. <laughs> but why do people buy it? Hey, maybe it's butter. <laughs> Oh, 
Here you go. The whole controversy about Nike manufacturing, you know, all the practices that it could have been avoided, all that stuff, if people would just look at the fine print. You've all seen this in your shoe. You've seen this here? Inspected by number five. But did you ever turn it around? Did you ever read the back? See? That's not the inspector's number. It's his age. <laughs> Size are these? Let me take them home. <laughs> oh boy! Now the ads for movies. Oh boy! You know that controversy. Remember about the phony, uh, oh, right. remember the phony right. critics, all that nonsense. Even Jurassic Park, a big hit like Jurassic Park. You've seen this poster, but have you looked closely? Do you look closely, or do you just see the dinosaur? Here's the poster. Look at it. it looks pretty normal, huh? But look, did you read the fine print? Look. Now with 60% less plot. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> You have to read the fine print. Now you uh, also even Pearl Har Pearl Harbor, Kev. Oh, saw yeah. Pearl Harbor. Oh, okay, yeah. I saw the ad. Went right by me. I was so excited, so anxious to see this piece of history. I did not read the tiny print. Go in there close. See what it says. Warning: Nothing interesting happens in the first in this movie for the first hundred and ten minutes. Thank you. Here you go. Thomas's English muffin. The original English muffin. Original. Yeah, not, oh, yeah. Don't be fooled. <laughs> and I always thought, oh, Thomas's, I like them. They're a fine product. I never read the fine print. Ellen, go in close. See what it says? Nooks and crannies make an ideal nesting ground for sand fleas. <laughs> Wait for the legal department to get the calls on that one. <laughs> Oh, it's Tumas's English muffins. I must be mistaken. It's Tumas's English muffins. Probably made an error. Now, you trailer folks are pretty familiar with this product. The quad trailer, the Lee press on nails, and of course your six pack. Here's your weekend right here. But did you ever bother to read the fine print when you buy this product. Go in close, see what it says, see? While using this product, objects in women's brassieres may appear larger than they really are. <laughs> Even our government, our own U.S. government, is not above trying to deceive we, the people. This is a postage stamp. You've all seen the new 34-cent stamp, or reasonably new. But did you ever read the fine print? Go in close, see what it says? This stamp good until we raise postage rates again, at which time you'll have to come back, stand in line for a one cent stamp to go with your now worthless 34 cent stamp. It's, it's all in it. It's all in it. Because if we save just one line. Just one, just man. One. Just one. <laughs> Here's some fine print I found interesting. And this is this bottle of uh, Lemon Joy. Lemon Joy. Now see what it says? Get in close. Only causes joy when actually applied manually. <laughs> why is that the only part in English? The rest of it is in Spanish. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's pretend we ended on that one. I'll go to this one. And then I'll hold this one up again. I don't know if this one is strong enough to end on. So after I do this one, I'll go back. There you go. Okay. Oh, simplicity zippers. If you like to sew, as Kevin and I do, remember, Kevin, oh, we made ours. We made our own outfits for that anniversary show last That's year. That's true. We did. They have this addendum to their claim of lifetime guarantee: void if your name is Condon, Clinton, Jackson, or Ewing. <laughs> there you go, right there. Be right back with Bill Maher right after this.